Welcome Sagittarius to your Astro Dice reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you and your Astro Dice. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope. Okay. Best message for Sagittarius for August, please. Going straight into the 12th house. Pisces energy. Ooh, with the south node so south node we don't have a south node but we do have vesta which is talking about that comic spirit over here the goddess within your sacred spirit center and quiet dignity and of course the south node is talking about that karma let's see Holds all your past karma. It is the road already traveled. Behavior patterns that may have their roots in the past and are being reactivated so that you may experience them again and bring them into resolution. So any kind of past behaviors that are going on around you are being reactivated. That's exactly what it's saying. Um, so that that way you can grow away from them and learn from them since it's karma. It could even be because of a person, right? I have to get away from this person because we have karmic ties and I need to learn to stay away from them or learn something from them. That's usually the case, learning something from them. What do I need to learn from them so I can travel my path that I need to be on? With Pisces energy, this energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, forgiving, and it confuses and res softens to resolve the issue. So, in the 12th house. So we'll see exactly what house we're talking about over here. The karmic house, of course. <laughs> this is the area of your life that is overwhelming you. Yield to the greater cause or power. And the 12th house is talking about that karma. Those dreams. The subconscious. Karma. The past. The secrets. The inner self. Things that you need to get done. So, very nice. So, getting straight into the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Moving up to the top, we could even have a message coming in that is saying that this is the ending um, with the King of Wands over here with yourself. Um, this message is actually going to make the ending um, for you. And it's going to keep you humble, though. I love this because you're going to be in your own energy or the past or the whatever recognition is going on within yourself. The influence, protection, support, or your inner self. So having this ending is actually a good thing, guys. It's It could have been wasting your time. You knew it was wasting your time, and you have this message saying, it's over, right? Could be coming from a Pisces or another fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Or a water sign, Scorpio uh, Cancer, as well as Pisces. Could be, there's that Aries coming in. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting, though. Um, let me see the Ace of Cups over here because it's kind of interesting because you have the passion of the Aries coming in with a message saying, hey, you know, I would like to renew this. I would like a fresh new start. And you're saying you're wasting my time. I need an end. But then you have the nourishing enough. You're like nourishing enough to say, no, I've had enough. I'm not going to reconcile with you. I, you know, I don't want your reconciliation. I need this new um, start for myself, bringing in your two of cups. So where it was wasting your time and you knew it, and this message is saying, can we reconcile? And you're saying, no, I don't want to reconcile. Or maybe they're calling and you're saying, do you, maybe you're saying we need to reconcile and they're saying no. So take it out resonates. Could be an Aries or a Capricorn. And then there's that cancer again. Um, 
<clears throat> but it's, it's actually better for you because it's going to unite yourself with yourself and put you back where you need to be. Yeah. And take you away from this challenge. This was all just a challenge and it feels like it was the karma, right? It's that, it's that karmic path that you need to get away from anyways. So in actuality, it's for the best. It was a secret desire, but it's also secret knowledge. The secret knowledge is you know. You know that there's other paths that you need to take. You know that this was blindsiding you in this direction. So in other ways, maybe you did want to have a reconciliation with them and they said no. Um, but in the end, it's kind of like deep down, you know, this is not where you want to be. And there is forgiveness here as well for somebody. They're calling in forgiving, you know, want to give that forgiveness. With the two of swords, you're like, yeah, well, there's other directions I need to go in. You know, this, this is just painstaking. Yeah. This will actually get you away from any kind of depression that they put you in, any kind of situation to where you're always thinking about them, um, anything of this nature where you feel like you're trying to fill your cup up, but you can't. So in the end, this decision that's going to be made is actually better for you. It's more reassuring for you. So, you know, whether or not whoever does the forgiveness and doesn't take the reconciliation, it's, it's like fine with you, right? Because you, it's almost like your intuition is telling you it's cool. You know what? It's probably for the best. And I just really see that with you, Sag. You're like, it's, it's good. It might even be the prayer you've been waiting for so that you don't have to waste your time with him anymore. Or this situation, whatever the situation is. It could be a job, it could be anything, whatever the 12th house is. Um, if it's a dream that didn't come true and didn't go through, maybe it was a blessing in the end. Because um, it does kind of feel like more like a blessing in the end with the Two of Swords and the High Priestess because now you get to travel towards things that you really do care about even a little bit more. So, yeah, it's almost like kind of like this dream that you had. With the death card upside down, it's like you've let this go, you've let it die, because you know that that's the best thing for this. Um, in the, in the mid-month, you have other things that you need to do, that you need to work on, and letting this go is actually going to allow other dreams to come through, so that way you're not always worried about this wastefulness because this was just wasteful look i have waste you're wasting this is wasting my time you are this is however it is and yes it's going to give you a little bit of nine of swords and it could even give the other person nine of swords because they really wanted the second chance um but you have to do it for your own independence you know that this is the road that you need to travel on the other one was the, the road less traveled and it got you nowhere. It was like blockage after blockage after blockage. So you do see that this is where you need to travel to for your independence um, and for yourself. Getting to you to, yes, to where your boats can actually, your dreams can actually come in and your boats can actually, you know, not just set sail, my friends, but actually dock, right? Because it gives you the opportunity to go after the things you really need without feeling like this over here is wasting your time and kind of holding and it. It really feels holding you back from getting to wherever it was you need to be. Really learning a lesson, um, maybe of self-love, um, what you need to do. Yeah, because over here was just bad karma. Wow. And we have the karmic card here and a karmic card here. Um, and this card is karma here, so it's just a waste of your time and bringing in bad karma. Holding on to bad karma. Making new bad karma. You don't want that. Yeah, holding you away from the things that you passionately desire. Things that you really need to go after. So in mid-month, it's like, I see this as bad karma. Um, I see that this is not pushing me to where... You know, I really need to be, so it's a good thing I let go of it. And I really do feel that those feelings will start coming through as you're really looking at new dreams and new uh, paths for yourself. 
And Nine of Swords says there's going to be some, you know, it's going to feel a little detrimental. It's going to be a little sad, but you know what? You're going to hold on with the courage. It's going to all of a sudden bring in this inner strength and this courage that you're going to need um, to do so because you have the forgiveness, right? Because you've given all forgiveness to them, to yourself, however it is. Um, whether friends you really know it or not, you kind of did, right? By just letting it go. Yeah. And like I said, there's going to be a little worries. There is going to be a little anxieties. Of course there is, though, because you're going on a new path, hoping and praying that it's going to be right for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Support. You might even have a uh, Pisces or a Scorpio around you supporting you. So, you know, having this other person around could be the best bet for you. Um, if it's not, it's just showing how you're kind of supporting yourself and allowing things to go the way they need to go now. Letting go. Having the insight and the confidence again. Feeling more vibrant and also seeing the full potentials and promises that could come out of this. Feeling like you're getting your creativity. How about creativity, right? Creativity back. Learning more as you're traveling on this road, on this new path, and getting ready to actually start the new path, excuse me, more than anything. <coughs> excuse me. So the end of the month, we've got the devil card, three of pentacles, and the devil card's also just showing that karma. Getting away from that karma and the Vesta over here with this with the South Node. The South Node's just saying now you're breaking those chains to the karma. Do not allow this person to come back. Do not allow them to wiggle their way back in. It could be a Capricorn. Don't let them in. Don't let them, you know, yeah, look at that. Don't let them try to chain you back down. Have the growth away from the karma. If you have karmic chains of this person, you're really trying to break away. Yeah, it could bring them back, right? And we've got Aries here again. So we have Aries again. So it could be an Aries. But yeah, just allow them to lick their wounds. Let them lick their wounds. You know, don't try to give it too much thought because you're already done. Yeah, I see you've already started a new chapter. So they're going to be licking their wounds over here as I was wanting to get you back trying to put those chains back on you, those karmic chains. They may feel like they didn't really learn a whole lot, but you do feel like you learned already from them. You learned this was not the place to be. I don't care if it was a job. I don't care if it was a friendship, love, um, some art creativity thing you're going through. It just was not working. Um, with the three of pentacles over here, it's like you're hardworking and you're being recognized by other people at the end of the month. This could be one of those things, see, because now you've gotten rid of the karmic tie, you keep yourself away from it, and it opens these new, um, kind of these new doors for you where all of a sudden you're being recognized. People are recognizing you. The king of coins doesn't like that, though. <sighs> That's just this person over here. They don't like you being recognized. They don't want you in the spotlight without them. They feel like you're moving towards the spotlight without them. What the? It's causing them sadness. They feel like you're celebrating without them. And you might be celebrating without them. Maybe in the end of the month, maybe you sold, let's say you're, you are creative, um, just an example, and you sold a painting or something and you're going to this gala or something and you're celebrating this um, success. Or you're with other friends and they're not there and they see you celebrating. They don't like that. They want to be there. Don't allow them to make you feel guilty, though, with it, with the king of coins upside down. Because there's nothing you can do about it. It's just, it's just like, it's done. And it does feel like they're trying to make a guilt trip. Maybe you know they're good at that. <laughs> You know, because it's like they're thieving. They're trying to thieve from you your energy. So you're just going to keep going strong and doing what you need to do and walk away. And you're escaping, right? You need to escape the situation for the, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. 
Why? Because you don't want to hold on to that anymore because that's not doing anything. You're actually showing progression right now. And it's steady and it's going persistently. And it's almost like once in a while, right? Now, finally, right? Finally, I got rid of this karmic tie. You were wasting my time. And now finally at the end of the month, I can feel like I'm moving on a path that's actually persistently moving in good fortune for me. It's just getting away from that terrible job or person or whatever this karmic was to find your way to a better destiny. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.